Hello and welcome. My name is Austin. I'm a software developer and I'm making this video to show you the basics of how to use Windows Forms. Windows Forms is also known as WinForms for short. It's a graphical library in the .NET framework that lets developers build rich client apps with event-driven design. It's actually been succeeded by Windows Presentation Foundation, also known as WPF, but it's still supported by Microsoft today. It's used by companies for building in-house tools for educational purposes and by many developers to create graphical user interfaces quickly. You'll need the Visual Studio IDE, and if you don't already have it, you can get the Community Edition for free from Microsoft's website. Let's get started by creating a new project. You could use either Visual Basic or C Sharp as your language of choice. For this video, I'll be using C Sharp and designing a tip calculator as an example. So you'll want to select the Windows Forms app option, and let's call this Tip Calculator. You could save the project anywhere you would like. When the project is created, Visual Studio will generate a new form called Form 1. This is very powerful as you could customize the appearance and behavior of the form in many ways. Let's take a look at the designer. You could drag the square icons next to the form to resize its width and height. Now let's take a look at the properties window on the side. From here, you can modify the form's properties, such as its background color, font styles, and its title. Let's rename it to Tip Calculator. And let's also rename the Form 1 file to Tip Calculator. This will rename the form object for you as well. Then let's take a look at the Toolbox window. If you don't see it, click the View tab and then click Toolbox. Here you could see various controls or objects you could place on the form to display text, data, and receive user input. I've already sketched out a simple design for this program ahead of time, so let's put down two labels first. One to ask the user for the total amount they want to calculate the tip of, so let's put enter total amount in the text property. And for the second label, we'll want to ask the user what percentage of tip they would like to get the result on. And you could place it anywhere you would like. Then let's add a text box to receive the total amount from the user. Let's also add three radio buttons to let the user select how much tip they would like to calculate. For the first one, I'll put 10%, and I'll make a copy of that. And for the second one, I'll put 15%. And for the third one, I'll put 20%. And we'll need a button to let the user run the calculation. So let's add a button and rename the text to calculate. And we'll also need one more label to show the resulting tip amount. So let's just put a placeholder in there for now. And let's also rename the controls we'll be using in the code. So for the text box, I'm going to name it TXT total amount. This is just how I prefer to name my controls. And for the radio button, I'll use RAD. This is Hungarian notation for radio button. And I'll just put rad tip 10. And I'll do similarly for the other tips. For the calculate button, I'll put BTN calculate. And for the tip amount label, I'll put LBL result. Let's resize the form. Let's make these labels bold. So I'll select all of the labels, click on font, click the little button next to the uh, property and click bold. Let's move things around accordingly. At this point, we can write some code for the program's logic. If you double click on a control, Visual Studio will generate an event handler for the default event of the object. For this button, it will be its click event. For the logic, I want to make it so when the user clicks the calculate button, it will take the total amount they entered, 
multiply it by the tip percentage to get the tip amount and then display it on the form. I've already written the code ahead of time, so let me run you through how it works. I've created two variables, one to hold the total amount, and I've taken the text that the user has entered from the text box and converted it to a double to the same type as the variable. I've also created a tip result with the default being zero to hold our uh, calculations later on. And then I have some if conditionals to see which radio button is checked and multiply the total amount by the correct tip percentage and set tip result equal to that amount. And then finally, take the tip result, convert it to a string and use one of the string format specifiers, capital C being currency, to output uh, the text with uh, a dollar sign and two decimal places and set the label result text property equal to this value. Let's build and run the app by clicking the start button on the top. Let's test it first by entering $20 as the total amount. For 10%, we know the tip should be $2. So let's click calculate and see if we get that amount. Yes, $2. For 15%, it should be $3, and for 20%, it should be $4. Let's do another test with uh, cents involved. So let's put $12.50. Try 10%. We know the result should be $1.25. That's correct. For 15%, it should be 1.875. It'll get rounded up to 1.88 due to the two-string specifier we're using. In this video, I won't be covering a proper rounding of currency. And for 20%, it should be $2.50. And there you have it. Please like this video if you found it helpful in getting the feel of WinForms and subscribe to this channel for more programming videos in the future. Check out austinsdev.com for articles on software development. And if you have any questions about how to use WinForms and would like to learn more about programming, please leave a comment under this video. Thank you for watching.